In Revit, there are two basic ways to modify a wall's type. The first method is to select the wall and going to the pull-down menu in the options bar, choose a new wall type. Uh, the second method involves actually going into its element properties and changing them there um, to create an entirely new wall type that's not in your list. Going with the first method, if we zoom in in the drawing space, um, we can see two interior 3 and 5 eighths uh, metal stud walls with gypsum on both sides. Uh, let's say that uh, this is a cavity in between them and so we don't need the gypsum on the insides. Uh, so first, uh, to change its wall type, select the wall, go up to the options bar, the pull down menu, and change it now to a 3 and 5 eighths wall with gypsum on one side. I'm going to select the second wall and do the same thing. And if it's hard for you to read uh, the detail of your walls, uh, there are two things you can do. Uh, first, if the lines are too thick, um, go up to the top here and choose thin lines, and you can toggle back and forth between thick and thin lines of your walls. That's uh, toggles between the actual line weight that uh, it will print on paper and more of a reference line. The, s the second thing you can do if you need to see the detail is go down to its detail level at the bottom and you can select between three different uh, detail levels and you may be on a two course of a detail level t to see uh, these, these gypsum layers. Notice after changing uh, the wall type on the left it's facing the wrong way. Uh, if we want the gypsum on the left side, you select the wall, uh, select the spacebar, and it will toggle back and forth. The second method for changing a wall type is to create an entirely new wall type. Let's say, for example, we want to change this to a 12-inch uh, CMU uh, or something wacky. Uh, so first, you select the, the wall itself. This time, you click its element properties. Uh, you'll see some parameters for the wall, the name of it. We're going to click Edit New, um, and we're, we're going to click Duplicate. You never want to save over a wall type, but always create a new one. Uh, in this case, we're going to rename it CMU 12-inch, and JIP on both sides will be fine. Uh, you may not see this window on the left. This is a preview window that will show you what it looks like as you change the layers. Uh, toggle the preview button at the bottom and that will bring this window up. Next under the construction parameter of structure go to click edit and it will bring up the layers of the wall. Um, you'll see the exterior side, the interior side and in the middle of the core boundaries is its structure. This tells Revit um, kind of the main function of what that material is doing. Um, we'll try to make sense of this. First click uh, on the inside structure. We want to change that from a metal stud layer to a CMU. Um, it's already, we're already telling Revit the, the correct thing, that it is the, the load-bearing structure part of the wall. The next column over is its material. That's where we change it to CMU. So click on the pull-down menu and go to masonry and click OK. Uh, the next column over will be its thickness. That's where we change it to 12 inches. I'll click outside of that to change that. The preview should already automatically update that. Uh, next in its finishes, the gypsum on both sides of this. Um, click on the first the exterior one um, and tell its function what it is. In this case, uh, it is the finish. And you'll notice starting from the structure in the middle, you, as it radiates out, you need to um, change the number to go higher and higher. This um, it just tells Revit kind of the order that, that these layers kind of work for the wall. So it's, that's correct. Uh, it is gypsum, and we'll change its thickness to half inch. And we'll do the same on the other side. It should automatically update. Hit OK. Hit Apply, and OK, and OK and it should have changed that wall now to the uh, correct layers. Um, it might have moved uh, the wall out a bit, uh, especially if, you, if you're changing the size of it. Uh, we can realign that wall by clicking align at the top. Click the wall you want to align it to. 